this is a quick tutorial on relational operators. Now, you're familiar with these from maths. Every time you want to compare two values to see if they're the same, greater than, less than, um, etc., you're using a relational operator. Now, in Visual Basic, we have the less than or less than or equal to operators. Just notice that the less than operator is a little, sorry, the less than or equal to operator is a little bit different to how you're used to using it in maths. So in maths, you might write less than or equal to like that. We obviously can't reproduce that on the keyboard. So what we do is we type the less than symbol first and the equal symbol second, one after the other. Same for when we do the greater than or equal to symbol. We can't do it like this, like you do it in maths, because there's no equivalent on the keyboard. So make sure you get that right, um, that distinction right between maths and computer science. Finally, uh, Visual Basic doesn't have a separate operator for equality versus assignment. It uses the equal symbol for both, so context is really important. If you see the equal symbol and it's just in a a one-line statement, it's going to mean assignment. However, if that equals is in a line that's actually part of an if statement or a loop condition, for example, it's actually being used as a relational operator, which is checking for equality between the two variables or values either side of the equal symbol. And finally, Visual Basic is a little bit different compared to many other languages when it comes to showing the not equal to symbol. We use the less than and greater than signs, or chevrons they're called, just one after the other. No space in between, and that means not equal to. So if we switch over to Visual Basic here, I have a new project called Relational Operators. A couple of variables declared in the same line because they're of the same data type. And then I've manually assigned different values to them. Let's see these relational operators at work in the context of an if statement. So we go if num1, short for number one, is greater than num2, then console.write display the word higher. Else display the word lower. We just pause here, console.read key, and run our program. Now I know that num1 contains 7, num2 contains 8, so according to this code I would expect that this condition here, num1 greater than num2, uh, evaluates to false. So I should expect the word lower to appear, which is exactly what happens. We can change this, we can go, well, if num1 is not equal to num2, if that's true, they're not the same, then I'm going to output not the same. If they are the same, I'm going to output these numbers are the same. And let's run that again. And again, 7 is not the same as 8, so the condition of the if statement is true, running this first line of code, not the same. And a final example is, let's say we'll go, if num1 is greater than or equal to num2. So if I change the values here, num1 is now 9, oh no, let's make it 8. We're going to say, if that's true, num1 is greater than or equal to, noting how we type greater than or equal to, it's a little bit different to how you do it in maths. If that's true, we're going to output hello, but if that's false, we're going to output goodbye. If we run this program, I would expect hello to be output. And as you can see, it does indeed.